Thank you very much, uh, Musa Faki, a Chair of the AUC, Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, Honorable Ministers, Distinguished Delegates. I remain immensely privileged to have the tremendous honor of receiving and hosting you in Kenya for the Africa Climate Summit in Nairobi. In Nairobi. Your presence has sent an emphatic signal throughout the world that a new Africa is here and that it means business. Your participation in the summit has further demonstrated your individual as well as our collective dedication to represent our peoples and champion their most important aspirations in every critical forum regionally, continentally, and globally. The Nairobi Declaration, our common stand and firm resolution reaffirms our determination and sets the stage for a new phase in the global climate action and sustainable development agenda, giving the future of socio-economic transformation distinct and an affirmative African character. I take none of this for granted, and I commend, honor, and thank you for your tireless effort, steadfast support, and willingness to go the extra mile for the sake of a brighter future for Africa and for humanity. As a result of our collective action, there can no longer be any doubt in any part of the world that Africa, humankind's cradle, is also its destiny. Our potential, made up of incomparable, young, resilient, and motivated human capital, natural resource wealth, and green energy potential is going to define the future of global opportunity for unprecedented prosperity and a new paradigm of industrialization that respects the environment and supports our planet's capacity to sustain biodiversity. We have successfully demonstrated that African solutions are not just appropriate for Africa's problems. They are necessary for global well-being. Our Agenda 2063 is an agenda for the benefit of all humankind. And the Africa we want aligns with the planet we need. The cradle of humankind is also its destiny, and Africa is the future, I dare say, of the world. Permit me, Excellencies, <laughs> permit me, Excellencies, to express how profound and proud I am of the quality and scale of what we have been able to accomplish in this inaugural Africa Climate Summit. The boldness vision, diversity, and thoroughness of the contributions made here in terms of debate, exhibitions, collaborations, and other activities have been deeply encouraging and also inspiring. During this Action Focus Summit, various stakeholders, including governments, the private sector, multilateral banks, and philanthropists, have made substantial commitments totaling a remarkable US dollars 23 billion for green growth, mitigation, and adaptation efforts across Africa. Let us give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Notable highlights include a transformative partnership investing US dollars 60 million over two years in expanding grid access in rural Burundi. A US dollars 4.5 billion commitment from the UAE 
represented here by my brother, to boost renewable energy, substantial contribution from the European nations, and significant investments from the private sector entities like Mazda, PowerGen, Leapfrog, Gross Boundary, and Husk Power, emphasizing renewable energy initiatives. The signing of Kenya's green hydrogen strategy with the European Union is expected to drive and accelerate green manufacturing and create thousands of new high-value jobs in addition to attracting large private sector investments. Additionally, there has been a notable increase in adaptation financing, reflecting a deep commitment to Africa's sustainable future and energy systems aligning with the ambitious Nairobi Declaration. Our youth have not been left behind in the robust conversation that has taken place at this summit. They have provided us with excellent models on how we must approach our date with an African future. By being open to possibility, bold in imagination, and willing to embrace radical and radically transformative technologies, ready to question the things we take for granted and explore new alternatives, and most of all, always seeking opportunities to collaborate locally as well as globally to achieve positive change. Our youth stand out in this summit, and congratulations to them. It is wonderfully appropriate that Africa is a young continent. The future does not merely belong to us. Our youth make us the future. <laughs> Proceeding on the recognition that the reform of the multilateral financial architecture and the mobilization of adequate financial resources is necessary for progress in our journey into the future, we have challenged, we have challenged the international community to exercise a level of imagination in governance and climate action that is commensurate with the imperatives to overcome the immense existential challenges of our time. I am satisfied that we have done very well in our first Africa Climate Summit, I'm delighted that much progress has taken place here, proud that we gave your best and grateful for your steadfast support and commitment to our collective aspirations and unity. With humility, I thank you for kindly accepting our invitation to attend this summit. I don't take for granted everybody's attendance, big and small, and for your patience throughout the proceedings. I know some of them were long, you had to wait, but you demonstrated unimaginable patience. I want to say thank you very much. It was necessary. Your devotion to Africa's contribution to the transformation of global climate action is exemplary and admirable. I thank the Committee of African Heads of State on Climate Change for giving me the opportunity to champion this phase of our continent's journey to global leadership and in climate action and green industrialization. And I promise that I will do my very best. I also thank the Africa Union and the Africa Union Commission for their unstinting support for my leadership at the CAHOS and for this summit. Musa Faki and your team, Joseka and your team, thank you very much. Um, much has gone into the preparation as well as the conduct of the actual summit.
the political and technical support has been equally vital for our successful management of these of logistical, technical, diplomatic, financial, and other requirements. The declaration we make to the world today defines and amplifies the African position on the way forward in climate action and the fundamentals that the international community must attend to in order to ensure that humanity's economic and ecological imperatives are effectively, coherently, and sustainably achieved. Going forward, we shall use every available opportunity in the busy multilateral calendar from the G20 meeting, the United Nations General Assembly in a fortnight, the annual meetings of the World Bank Group and the International Monetary Fund soon thereafter, as well as the COP28 to further prosecute our agenda. After our declaration, let us go home satisfied with a job very well done, proud of our progress we have made, and eager to embark on the next phase of our transformation everywhere on our continent. I know we've come from different corners of this continent. Please go home with your head very high. You have done very well. Congratulations. May God bless you. May God bless our great continent. And may God bless humanity. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Maybe by conclusion, I uh, uh, gave you some lessons. Mambo? OK, let's start. Jumbo? OK, let me do it again. When I say jumbo, you say jumbo. Hello, hello. Jumbo. Jumbo. Good. When I say mambo, how are things? You say poor. You say things are cool. In fact, poor means cool. OK, mambo. Poor. Mambo. Poor. One final lesson. How to say thank you. You say asante. You can add asante sana means thank you very much. Can we go? Asante. Very good. So at least you have some lessons from, from home. I told you this is home, right? So thank you very much. My very best wishes and God bless you.